Welcome to the third video on geometric sequences. We are now going to consider a slightly more complicated problem. And we're going to work with time instead of something like number of folds. So we've got bacteria data. And at time equals zero, we have 50,000 bacteria. After one minute, we have 37.5, two minutes, 28.125, and three minutes, that amount. So f of t is going to represent um, the number of bacteria at any given time in minutes. So in order to write the explicit formula for the data in this table, we need to find a and r. Well, we know our initial value. At time equals zero, we have 50,000. So we're good on that. Now we need to find the common ratio. <clears throat> so we can take this amount and divide it by this amount, and we're going to get 0.75. We can take this, divide it by this, we also get 0.75. And finally, we can take this amount and divide it by this amount, and we are also going to get 0.75. You have to check all these ratios to make sure that they are the same or very close to the same. And in our example, our common ratio is 0.75. So if we want to write the explicit formula, remember, this is going to be f of t is equal to a r to the t in this case. <coughs> We plug in our 50,000 for A, our 0.75 for R, and that is our formula. And this means that with each new minute, there's only 75% of the pre previous minute's bacteria, or 25% of the bacteria is dying each minute. And we can use this to find out how many bacteria we'll have after six minutes. So if you do that, if you want to find um, how many bacteria after six minutes, you're going to plug in a six for T. You can go to Desmos and do that, and you should get this amount. Okay.